Hey guys, how are you? In this vlog, I'm going to answer a question that was put to me. Is using a website template cheating? Can a professional web designer use a template in project work? Short answer is not cheating. And there are many situations where using a website template makes a lot of sense. Web developers will use templates as well, although they're not called templates, they're called code libraries web frameworks, UI frameworks for the back end. For instance, I see a lot of big companies, they will use web frameworks to produce all kinds of charts and it's all template driven, all the charting, all the graphs and so forth, it's all template driven. It doesn't make sense to always have to design everything from scratch. Programmers never do because they're always leveraging somebody else's code. So you as a front end designer or developer, leveraging other people's code, the code that creates the visual component of your web app or your website, only makes sense. Now, there are advantages to using a template. Saving time. Number one, saving time. Number two, saving money. They're kind of related. You save time, you save money. So let's say you get a new client, the client wants to put up a site, and they say, well, I'd like to get it up in four or five days or two or three days. So, you know, template makes sense then because designing from scratch takes time, but a template is a very useful tool to save a lot of time, thus saving a lot of money. So maybe you have very tight schedules, very tight deadlines, boom, a template will save you a heck of a lot of time. Maybe the client just has a minimal budget. Again, template could save a lot of time. Now, imagine a, a scenario where you're meeting the client for the first time, you go into the meeting, here's a little, little tip, freelancing tip for you. And you come in, you sit down, let's say they own a butcher shop, for instance, and they have curated meats and so on. And they want to showcase this stuff. So what you do is you go in and you, you take down, okay, what do you want to emphasize? What, what sections do you want to have in your site? What pages? You know, they're going to have a home page. They're going to have maybe a products page, special services page, maybe. You get the idea. And then you want to break down each page in terms of the sections. It could be a header with two columns underneath and a footer. Who knows, it could be just a single one column, big page in the front, you know, there's all kinds of different styles, but you go in there, you sketch it out on paper, so you got a general idea of what your client wants in terms of the basic layout and the pages on the site or the web app. And then what you can do is you can go to template sites that you like, whether it be free or commercial, and you can pick out a few designs, a few templates based on that basic structure. and then. You could use the templates as a tool to help the client understand what it is you're going to build for them based on the template. So you can show them the template, say, hey, what do you think it is? What do you think it is? Easily put together five, grab five templates and just show them the previews and, the, and, the, and it's going to help you to communicate with your client and, for, and it's going to help the client communicate with you in terms of what they have in their mind's eye what they want to get in terms of the uh, the end website that they're looking for. So that's very cool because to, to design things from scratch, I used to do that all the time, back, especially back in the early 90s, in the late 90s when I was a developer freelance, I used to, the templates out there weren't very good, so I used to do the first step where I'd sketch stuff on paper, but then I would do the second step, whether it be myself or somebody who worked for me, we would have to lay out, strip out, a basic rough design. But with all these beautiful templates that are out there, whether it be just basic static templates, HTML, CSS, and JavaScript, or maybe it's a vlog template, like a blog, a blog template, like a WordPress template, maybe. Uh, again, it just considered a tool, not just in terms of implementing a particular style, but actually using it to help you flesh out what exactly your client wants in terms of their website. So it's a very cool tool that way. So, as I said, template can save you a lot of time, it can save you a lot of money, maybe your client has a tight budget. The only time I wouldn't use a template is when you're in a situation where the business is kind of represented by the style. So, for example, Studio Web, my my web training platform where I teach people web design and web development. I teach them HTML, CSS, JavaScript, uh, Python, SQL, the databases, uh, PHP, etc. When we developed that, that template, like seven years ago now, it was done from scratch. 
well, I shouldn't have said template. When we designed the user interface for our app, it was designed from scratch because of the nature of the product. The product is somewhat represented in its style, right? If that makes any sense. So we didn't use a template in that situation. Whereas if I was setting up a, a website for my camera store, I was selling cameras, then templates are perfectly fine because my camera business really has nothing to do with whether or not I design the site or not. If I had a butcher, same thing. If a butcher shop I wanted to promote, uh, a plant store I wanted to promote, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So that's the only time I wouldn't be using a template when you want to represent, you know, the only time I wouldn't use a template rather is only when I represent the actual look of the site or the app as reflective of my core product. If you're a bakery, your core product has nothing to do with your website. The website is just a tool for you to get the message out about your core product, which is the pastries, of course, in this situation. So there you go. In short, templates are cool. I recommend them. Developers use code templates, if you will, in the form of frameworks and libraries all the time, because that code, library code, framework code, is code that is refined. It's been cleaned. And it's going to be, chances are it's going to be better than code that you're going to write from scratch yourself. So everybody's using templates, everybody's using code libraries. All the modern languages, whether it be Python, JavaScript, PHP, Swift, Java, et cetera, et cetera, Ruby, they're all based on, they're all written in lower level languages, something called C or C++. So they're all made up of other languages, you know. So again, it's all about using other people's code. So when you're using other people's temp, when you're using a design template, you're leveraging other people's code and their design aesthetic. So yeah, use a template, they save you time, get the product out super quick. If you have tight deadlines, saves you money. And if your design challenge, let's say you're a WordPress, PHP, developer freelancing and you're really good at the back end, you're really good at configuring, you understand the WordPress ecosystem and you, you're good with your PHP and your database, you're good with all that, but your design skills are eh, not as good. That's where templates come in. You use the templates to help you with that. So you grab a template, you get the basic style as I outlined just a couple of minutes ago. You, you figure out what the client wants rather. And then what you do is uh, you just do the tweaking, add the images, add some fonts, follow basic design rules. Don't want to break the basic design rules, like basic design rule number one, no more than two font faces on a particular page. Design rule number two, keep your color uh, scheme on the page uh, consistent. You don't want to have clashing colors. And there's color wheels I can show you about that. I've discussed that in other videos. A design rule number three, you don't want, you want to make good use of white space or they call it negative space in your page. I call breathing room between elements, between titles, between text, between columns. You don't want anything un unaligned or squished up. You want things lined up straight. You want things a, a nice healthy distance between elements in the page so they breathe, the, the, the text, the page breathes, it flows. It's not all squished up and busy. Anyway, I'll stop there. You get the idea. So yeah, don't use, don't grab a template and then destroy the template, right? Just grab a template and then tweak it the way you need to tweak it. Again, that's where just basic design, understanding the basic design principles can really help you out and in that way. That's pretty much for this vlog. Ciao, guys.